Welcome to the All Around Joe Podcast, where we optimize your human performance for my personal experience as an athlete, coach, and all-around self-improvement junkie. On this edition of the All Around Joe Podcast, I'm going to be talking or giving you information on fitness lovers, Christmas buyer's guide. Most of these are going to be for him or for a dude, um, but they also will semi-encompass things that just CrossFit or fitness lovers will really enjoy. So I'm getting back to this podcasting. It's been a few weeks now. I took a little bit of a break while we were driving up the California coast where there wasn't a lot of cell phone service and I was just getting the bare minimum done with the Get Better Project, making sure that program and all those videos were up and rocking. But I am back now to get going on the All Around Joe podcast and pick up back where I left off. I think I was at like two or three years in a row without missing a week of the podcast. So I am back at it, ready to go, excited for this holiday season, and we are going to talk about what you should be putting in the stockings and under the tree for your fitness lover today. So these are going to start off by going from under $50 and then $50 to $100 and then over $100 for like the big ones here. And we'll do those in that particular order. And you can also follow around, follow along and get the links for this either down below if you're watching this on YouTube or if you are checking this out auto, on Audible or on iTunes or wherever you're listening to it, just audio only. Uh, you can go to allaroundjoe.com slash 266. That's number 266. And I have all the links all this listed out for you there. So YouTube or on the All Around Joe pod or allaroundjoe.com slash 266 and you can get all of these links for everything that I am talking about here. So for stocking stuff, stuffers, we're getting these guys going in the 50 or under range for the stocking stuffers. And it seems like for the fitness lover, a lot of things cost a little bit more unless you're getting things like the protein bars, which are great. We tend to go with no cow bars if you want to put something like that in stockings. We also found these cool little bars that are great for when you're doing longer sessions called Huppy Bars, H-U-P-P-Y, Huppy Bars. Those are excellent as well. So if you get a chance to get some of those, you might have to order them though. They come from Arizona. We actually learned about those guys on our our Grand Canyon rafting trip where a Grand Canyon guide actually came up with these hubby bars. And they're actually a fantastic choice if you tend to like something like a cliff bar when you're on a longer run or training session day. The hubby bars are just full of better ingredients than the cliff bars. So highly recommend that you check those guys out. If you are going with less edible stuff, well, I guess we've got a couple of different things here, but jumping up to a $10 price point, since we're in the uh, era of COVID, you can get your person you're shopping for the don't weaken face mask. So may as well get the uh, face mask so that when they're wearing it, they can represent what they are into. So the don't weaken brand is something that Rogue has been all about uh, these past few months. You can get the Don't Weekend shirts, the Don't Weekend face masks, and several other things. And those are $10. Then we jump right up to, I guess, an edible thing, but the uh, Good Dudes Coffee. So if you guys are familiar with CrossFit at all, you know that of Rich Ronin, Josh Bridges, and Dan Bailey, and they came up with the Good Dudes Coffee Company, which has Good Dudes Coffee. And you can get a bag of their coffee, which would be great. And for any of the CrossFit lovers in your life, they would think this was pretty cool to get some of the Legends coffee bag or coffee here. And that's $17.99. Then moving on up, uh, you could get yourself or get the person that you're shopping for, Rogue Patch Trucker Hat. So this is what I have on here. If you guys are not uh, watching it, it is the Rogue Patch Trucker Hat, just with the says Rogue on the front of it. And anybody who's anybody has had one of these hats or would like to have one, and they are great hats. I've got two or three of them right now, and I just give them a different color. So they have a bunch of different colors. They're great material. They're awesome for if you want to work out in a hat or if you just want a hat. Like I usually keep one that's nice and clean, and one of them that I work out in. So those are twenty five bucks. A uh, great thing to plop on top of the stocking, maybe because it probably doesn't fit in so well. Next up, the Mobility Wad Supernova. So this is Kelly Starrett's uh, mobility tool. It's a ball that looks kind of like a dog toy. This thing is thirty nine dollars, but it is the greatest combination of a lacrosse ball and a foam roller that you can get. It's a little bit bigger, it grips on a little bit better. The lacrosse balls tend to be great, but they're almost too small and they are too potent for a lot of the bigger muscle groups. This is bigger so it makes or takes uh, 
fills the void for that, essentially. So it's a great tool. It's $39, and you will probably have it for the rest of your life unless you let your dog chew on it, and the dog may be able to rip it up, but it's probably never going to fall apart. And I know a lot of people actually bring this tool with them when they're traveling, so they bring it everywhere. And then for the person that does a lot of gymnastic stuff or pretty much is doing bar work, not barbell, but bar work, so we're talking about pull-ups, muscle-ups, bar muscle-ups, kipping, toes-to-bar, that type of stuff, everybody that does high volume of those or does them a lot has some sort of grips. And we recommend the Bear Complex three-hole grips, and those are $39. You can get them over at Rogue Fitness. And like I I mentioned, get yourself over to allaroundjoe.com slash 266 or check out the links down below for these particular uh, items because you can just click right through to the actual place, pick them up immediately and have those ready to go for the stocking or underneath the tree. So the three hole grips are $39.99. We also put the no hole hand grips for $44.98 on there as well because there are a lot of people that are going to those where you just throw the grip over the top. I personally prefer the three hole grips to any other kind that I've had and I like the Bear Complex better than any other kind that I've had so that's why I'm putting them on this list. Um, But it's a great idea for somebody that doesn't have grips or you think could use them or if they don't have the no hole it might be fun to get those and give them a try so they have some options because there are certain situations where it would be nice to have a no hole grip um, where you're going to be going back and forth between barbell work or some other work where you're not wanting to use a grip you can just get them out of the way really quickly with the no holes whereas if you're having your hands in the holes you either have to take your fingers out or you have to just deal with whatever you're grabbing with the grip on then we have the Rogue Knee Sleeve, which is forty nine fifty, and a knee sleeve is a great idea for anybody that does a lot of squatting or lunging, or even better, um, if you think about it, the people that are working out at home right now, you're probably working out in a garage or in a driveway or someplace that has a concrete hard floor. If you're going to have to do lunges and tap your knee on the floor, it's a great idea to have knee sleeves on because that floor is much harder than the typical rubber flooring that we're going to see in a regular gym. So getting some of those is something I highly recommend for 50 bucks. And uh, you can usually get the size pretty right. There's just like the small, medium, large setup uh, that's a very exact measurement, a measurement around the knee. So you could try and do that as best you can. Uh, to get that sizing right or maybe you can they've had a pair that's starting to get really stinky and you're just going to replace them (laughs) lastly for the stocking stuffers under fifty dollars we have the oso oso barbell collars and we recommend these to everybody that's going to be working out even at home or if they're in gym or if they travel frequently to just get their own pair of these oso barbell collars because in our experience they last pretty much forever. We've only ever seen one of them that bent because somebody dropped a bunch of weight on it and it bent the the clip. Otherwise, we've never had one bend. They're super great. The original ones are the ones that we recommend. You can get them in all kinds of different colors. So if somebody has a certain color of barbell, they have certain colors that they like, um, you can get these you know cool anodized aluminum looking colors and they just work so much better than any other clips out there. Don't mess with the plastic ones. Pay the $50, have them for the rest of your life, and have them work fantastic. That's the Oso Barbell Collars. And you can pick up all this stuff at Rogue, and I highly recommend that you either go down below and get those links if you're watching this on YouTube, or go to allaroundjoe.com slash 266. You can just click right through. I'll even put pictures of the stuff in there uh, because I use all this stuff myself. So I have experience with it, and that's why I'm recommending it. Then we have gifts and these are going to be some, mostly for him because there's some clothing in here from $50 to $100. The first one, though, is universal. Uh, for $50 to $100, which is $65, the RPM Speed Rope 4.0, which is the jump rope that I definitely recommend that people get. It is fantastic for doing double unders because it is just so much more efficient at spinning. The rope, though, is designed in such a way that it's better if you're doing it on a non-cement uh, surface. For example, we do them, we'll do them on a, a mat so or anywhere that we can find that is not the concrete surface because it, it actually tears down the cable that they use. They will have coated cables, and I recommend using those. It will last a little bit, a lo- little bit longer, but it will still get torn down if you're not doing it on somewhat of a soft surface. Like we have one of uh, those thicker mats that we carry around with us in the van, and we'll just pull that out and do double letters on top of that but I recommend doing 
jump roping with a RPM speed rope on a non cement surface. So it, I'm sure you can find something laying around. We usually do just find something that we can pull out. Big carpet will work, or if it's um, very thin, that type of thing. But anyway, moving on. The next thing in the fifty to one hundred dollar range is the Lululemon Pace Breaker nine inch short with liner for sixty eight dollars. Now there's all these people that are talking about you know Viore and um, other brands that are out there trying to get into this game. They're doing a good job, but having tried and checked out all these other brands, I don't know why people aren't just sticking with Lululemon. It seems to be the most comfortable. It seems to be the best fitting. And even though Lululemon seems to be going in this weird direction right now where if you go on their website, they're, all their models are like out of shape and they're not really focusing on the in-shape CrossFit or fitness style person right now. It's a really strange thing. And I wish that I could know what Lululemon's plan was with that because for years they focused on the more health and fitness conscious people. I mean, it makes sense to get into the more general population. But anyway... Um, the, the Lululemon stuff is by far the best in my opinion. It just, if we're looking for the combination of fit, comfort, and looks, they just win. And we've tried the other stuff. It's not as good. So there you have it. Lululemon pace breaker short. I have one, two, three pairs of them right now. They're all fantastic. And I go with the liner because I don't like to have to deal with an extra pair of underwear if I don't have to, right? So That is a personal preference. Some people feel the exact opposite. Just know who you're buying for there. Then the next up is the Lululemon Event Tech Short Sleeve 2.0, which is $78. And in my opinion, this is the best workout shirt that I own. Make sure that you buy these a size down if you're buying for a muscular person because what will happen is like I would usually wear a large in a t-shirt which would fit good and it fits, you know, like kind of fitted but not too tight. So I'm going to buy a medium in this Lululemon shirt because it just is a stretchy material. It won't look super tight. It won't feel and and that being said, if it does and you do not get the the size quite right, they have a great return policy. So you can get that done really quickly and easily. And they've got a bunch of colors. And anything really in the metal vent tech um, genre is good. I have a couple of their long sleeve shirts as well. And those are, are fantastic. Again, I always get the size down so that they will fit better than being like this loose baggy thing that most of us muscular people do not want to have. The gifts that go $100 plus, so these are the good ones, the ones you've been waiting for, the ones that you're going to put underneath the tree are going to last uh, or be a little bit more meaningful as far as things that are going to make an impact. The first is Rogue Kettlebells, and you can get these for under 100 bucks. but if you're going to buy them from Rogue and you're going to get them with shipping, they're going to probably be over $100. So anybody that doesn't have dumbbells, the next thing, or does have dumbbells, the next thing would be to go to the kettlebells. You can pretty much use the dumbbells as a kettlebell, but the kettlebells are great to have once you're trying to build out that home gym for your significant person that you are buying for here. If you do not have kettlebell, or if you don't have dumbbells, go with the dumbbells first. And we've actually been buying dumbbells on walmart.com because they offer free shipping and they tend to have some of the sizes in stock that you might need. I still can't find a set pair of 70s anywhere, but you can get, you know, 35s, 50s, which are the most common sizes that you would probably get in dumbbells. Then we're going to go into the King Kong Core 25 backpack. King Kong, all of their stuff is good. So if you think that the person that you're buying for would like a duffel bag versus a backpack, whatever, just go on the site, find the thing that looks the coolest. You got lots of cool colors and go ahead and grab that thing for them. I've had several of these bags. Uh, They sent me them to review. I've reviewed a bunch of them and they are great bags made of great material they work they the one that i posted here the core 25 is just super cool because they have it set up so that your your belt can go around it and there's even a shoe compartment up in the bottom so it keeps your shoes in there but away from everything else that you're putting in the bag it's just a, a very thoughtful thought out durable piece of baggage or backpack or equipment but all of their stuff is like that i remember the first duffel bag that i got from them had the shoe compartment as well which is just you know, almost like unheard of before. And it's a great way of having your shoes with you because everybody wants to have an extra pair of shoes when they're going to the gym, but you don't want to put them next to everything else. So there you have it. 
Next up, we have another backpack, which is one that's been pretty popular for a while. It's a little bit more expensive. It's the GoRuck GR1 backpack, and this one was designed actually for rucking. So you could put a bunch of weights or rocks or plates inside the backpack and go for a hike or a walk or whatever. Uh, rucking has become a popular way of getting more cardiovascular training in without having to move as fast, essentially. So it's a really interesting way of training, and I recommend trying it. And this backpack essentially is designed so that it can be a rucking pack or a work pack. So there's like a slot for your uh, laptop and whatnot, and it goes in both ways. If, so if your significant other would like to try rucking, or maybe both of you would, this would be a great backpack to get because it could be universal and not just being used sitting in the corner waiting for that rucking time, but it'd be used for also work and whatnot if they feel like that would be something that they would want. Then we get into some more fun stuff here. If you think that your significant other would like a barbell you are going to want to go with the Rogue Ohio Bar, or I believe it is the Rogue Bella Bar for the females. I Most of the stuff is for him, but the Rogue Ohio Bar, you can get in a bunch of different colors. It's super cool. It's $325. This thing will last you literally your whole life. It, the only exception would be if you leave it out in the rain every single day and just let it rust out, but then you could probably still clean it up and have it work again. This thing is fantastic. You can use it you know, year-round, Really great to have in your home gym, whether you're doing deadlifts or snatches or anything with a barbell, bench press, the Rogue Ohio Bar. And like I said, the colors are super cool. So if you get motivated at all by your equipment looking good, this is what you want to get. And remember, you can go to allaroundjoe.com slash 266 and get all of the links for this. It will shoot you right to the Ohio Bar. You don't have to think about it. And then if you're in YouTube, just go down below. Click that little button that drops down so that you can see all the links. Uh and go ahead and click right through. The last thing on this list is going to be a $700 plus purchase, but it would be something that would be incredibly beneficial for anybody that's have a home gym this time of year is the Rogue Echo Bike, which is this is the most durable air bike that is on the market today. This thing will get you in shape. All you have to do is use it. It's great for long distance cardiovascular conditioning. It's great for high intensity, slow or short interval sessions. This thing, because it's total body, you're spinning your legs, you're moving your arms, it will get you in shape for just about anything cardiovascular that you are working on getting in shape for. I would even put it into a running program just because it's going to build your cardiovascular system in such a way and help your body transfer oxygen in such a way that nothing else really does. So Rogue Echo Bike is the last thing on the list. It's more expensive. It won't even fit underneath the tree, but it's going to be way better. I would get a Rogue Echo bike over any of these gimmicky things that are coming out right now, like the Blue Lemon Mirror or even the uh, the other, whatever it's called, the the bike that people are, are buying right now, buying up like crazy that has the screen on it and you can get like workouts. Cool, but not as effective as the Rogue Echo Bike. So if you need motivation to look at a little screen and have somebody tell you what to do constantly, um, then go with one of those things. But if you want a program that you can follow, like my program that says, hey, get on this thing and do this workout and you can just follow it, then the Rogue Echo Bike is going to be much more effective for you. And it just works better than these other things. So There you have it, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Make sure that you check out all of these links and you can get pictures of stuff and whatnot over at allaroundjoe.com slash 266. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, you can just drop on down into below the video here and get those links right there. All right, guys, I hope you have a fantastic buyer's holiday. We'll probably see you again before the Christmas and New Year's comes up, but you can get your shopping done right now and I recommend doing it so that you're not scrambling at the last minute, especially because getting into stores this time of year is probably not going to happen this year. So there you go. If you guys would like to try two weeks of my online at-home training program that requires only two dumbbells to get the full setup of the workout, which is what Emily and I have been doing to stay in fantastic shape all for actually for two years now. We're talking like abs. We're talking being able to run up mountains. We're talking about being able to rappel down canyons. We're talking about being able to mountain bike all over the place. Head over to thegetbetterproject.com slash two weeks that is the getbetterproject.com slash two weeks. You'll get access to our app, all the information that we do there. It has training videos, 
or coaching videos for each one of the workouts every single day. You get access to our private Facebook group. Even if you don't have Facebook, you it, you can still do this program. We have maybe a handful of people that don't have Facebook, but we do post on our private Facebook group. So that's the benefit of being in the group. We do challenges. Right now we're doing a uh, down in December challenge where people are losing weight in December rather than gaining weight, which is what people usually do in this time of, of this holiday season. And you get access to us on a regular basis via the weekly athlete check-in and full access to me and other coaches in the program to ask questions, to review videos for you, whatever you need. So head over to thegetbetterproject.com for two weeks and let us help you start getting in super shape this December today. All right, guys, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this podcast and got something out of it, maybe some ideas for the person that you're buying for. I know that I absolutely have used all of this stuff and really enjoy it. So there you have it. The All Around Joe Podcast, where we optimize your human performance from my personal experience as an athlete, coach, and all around self which proved <laughs> Alright guys, we'll see you on the next podcast.